It's Wednesday, and you know what that means. Welcome, everybody, to the Big Places live party. Back at it again. How are you all doing? I want to know how you're doing. I'm good. That's great. I'm Alex. This is Abby. Hi. This is the Bead Place. Thanks for hanging out with us. Apparently, I'm going to be making something. Yeah, so um, <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we have a project that was featured on our YouTube channel a few years back uh, in one of our Valentine's Day feature videos. It is one of four projects that's actually uh, shown in a full uh, video tutorial um, within that actual video. Um, and so it is, in my opinion, one of the uh, easiest ring projects uh, that you can do out of wire. Um, probably not the easiest, but one of the easiest. So uh, since I've made a ton of them, I figured that it would uh, be fun for Alex to make some. She's putting me to work. <laughs> so, um, Alex, if you wouldn't mind putting the uh, preview image up on the screen so the folks can see what our goal is hmm. for yeah. tonight. Th this is what it's supposed to look like. And you are going to do a great job, I promise, because you uh, I watched the video. Good. You are good. I watched the video at times two speed. <laughs> he did. So... I know what I'm doing. Oh, thanks for joining us, everybody. Hi, Terry. We miss you, too. Um, I finally unpacked that bag that you <laughs> that you brought the last time you were in town and made a visit to the bead place. So I feel like you should be proud of me. Also, um, if you want to purchase this kit, it is not only in the description on the Facebook and YouTube video, it is now in the chat. So hey, thanks, Alex. check that out. So we have a wide variety of kits, if you didn't know. Um, you can just go to the kits section of our website to check them out. Um, but we also have a, a semi-wide variety of uh, Valentine's Day projects. So we showed our party heart necklace last week. So you can watch the replay of that. Um, party hard. We also have uh, our funky heart project. Um, and this is using our serape cord. Serape. <laughs> Uh, and then um, we have some poop earrings that are cute little beaded hearts. We have our X's and O's bracelet, all kinds of cute Valentine's Day projects. Uh -huh. um, so if you haven't yet, take a, a minute to browse through our YouTube channel after you're done watching the stream because there's a lot Thank of you, really Carol. cool projects. Um, Coral, I'm sorry. I said that as soon as I did. I was like, that's not that's not, that's right. not that. <laughs> I apologize. Um, I think the the only thing that I really want to say before Alex gets started showing you guys how to do this project is that um, we are doing a special for you, our live viewers. Um, if you place an order on our website of ten dollars uh, of product or more from now through the end of the weekend, if you put in the Heck order yeah. notes that you watched this stream. You get one of these cute uh, poly clay uh, or eco vinyl strands of these multicolor Heshi discs. That is a six thousand dollar value. It I suggest not. you take it. <laughs> take advantage of it. But they're fun and they're perfect for little Valentine's Day gifts. So it, depending on how well staffed our or your local post office is, uh, <laughs> the end of this week and this weekend, you may or may not get it before Valentine's Day but they're cute for all year round too so um and, and before we get started make sure if you're on youtube you like this video if you're on facebook heart it and wherever you are watching share it with all your friends i wasn't prepared. share it in other uh facebook groups uh if you're in a, another beating facebook group or like you know a meme facebook group you never know they might want to see that they can turn us into a gift yeah turn us into a gift or a GIF. Becky, Becky is it GIF or GIF? Down below, let's argue about it. <laughs> <laughs> um, one of one of our staff member uh, Becky's favorite things to do is take screenshots of our faces during the video, uh, whether it's like a video or a live stream. Where we're like derping yeah. out. <laughs> yeah, and then she'll send it to us after the fact, and it's 
really fun to see that uh, she's assigned that as your like contact photo. Oh yeah, <laughs> when you're like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, so um, yeah, uh, orders of ten dollars or more on our website between now and the end of this weekend. Uh, if you put in the comment, you have to put in the comment notes um, that you um, or the order notes, order comments. Um, that you watch the live Something stream, we'll comments. send you a cute little some Palmer combination clay. of those words. Polymer clay eco vinyl strand. Seriously, we've only got five likes. What the heck? We've guys? got thirty people watching. We appreciate like you, but like the video it really, you, really does help. While we're live, it shows it to more people. It's okay, you haven't started making the ring yet. Well, we're not starting until we get to ten, and that's final. As, <laughs> But, the minute you said that, it jumped up. Uh, <laughs> That's really funny. There we go. What about 15? <laughs> Let's switch spots right. so you can start making the ring. We're going to flip flop. I'm gonna Look need... at my cute new flax pants. I'm going to need some of those. Got them from the thrift store. But the bummer about them, I was complaining to Jenny, one of our staff members today. This is a fake tie. Like, if you're going to give me a tie, I want it to actually be able to make my pants tighter. You know what I mean? Alex knows what I mean. Woo, he slammed that door. Okay, let's switch to hand cam. Anybody, Joan Soda? This is like six year old Joan Soda at this point. It still tastes great. Gross. So, shout out to them. No, it's great. Gross. Okay, what do, what am I doing here to switch to hand cam? Help me. Uh, detail cam. Detail cam. Transition. Flippy flop. Yep. We got it. We did it. Look at that. The real reason I'm doing this is to teach her to do this on her own. Stop it. Okay, Alex, take it away. So the first thing you want to do is you're going to get your, you want to go over to the bplace.net. Uh, you're going to want to buy this. Okay, <laughs> that's the first thing. And then you get one of these uh, $6,000 value. I don't know. So um, in it the comes kit, like this, though. You get the mandrel. You get a mandrel, yeah. And in you the, get the kit, kit, you get uh, a couple of different sizes and cuts of wire. Um, and then what you're gonna do is <laughs> Just trying to run away on it. Yeah. Um. Actually, you know what? I got two. Let's save these pre-cuts and let's use this one. Movie magic. That way, we save these pre-cuts and we oh, can man. stuff it in case, in case we get all under uh, it. A giant rush of orders after your stream. So, um, what you're gonna do, Alex, is you're gonna cut. Oh no, just use the end. What? But do it on. Do, don't don't uncoil the whole coil. Okay. Just pull about eight inches off the end, and me measure it to make sure that it's accurate. And then Alex is gonna use a flush cutter. <laughs> Sally says. Alex gets to make Abby's gift. Nothing more romantic than that. Thumbs up for Alex. Yep. Hi, everybody. Hey, Sherry. Terry, you know, all we have left in that right. mini fridge is the orange flavor. I think my family took the rest of them home. Oh, no. It flipped upside down. I know. Isn't that annoying? How when you adjust it? Like, oh, you're making everybody sick. Okay, there we go. There we go. Look at that. Sorry about that. I did it. Wobble That's cam. step one, okay? You want to cut a wire approximately eight inches uh sally says the mandrel comes with the kit yes the mandrel comes with the kit it is a plastic mandrel so it's real lightweight um we do have steel mandrels as well but for projects like this where you're not doing any hammering i actually recommend our plastic mandrels and i'll tell you why when you're needing to do tight wire wrapping our plastic mandrels have a groove i don't know if you can see that but they have a groove mm -hmm. here and it allows you to kind of like poke the wire underneath um, to maintain the correct size. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the blue lemonade was good. Terry All says right. my favorite was the blue lemon blue lemonade. First things first, you're gonna take it and you're gonna you're gonna like do this to it, right? Yep. Alex yeah. is folding it in half, but he's using a gentle curve. He's not putting a, like a harsh bend in it. That looks like a U. Yes, it does. Or uranium. Sure, I heart you. I hire you. All right. So what's next, Alex? Do you fold it, right? Yeah, you're going to fold it and tie it in a knot. But you're going to kind of like try to do a gentle knot without too many bends in it. And you're going to try to keep that knot centered in the wire, <laughs> which is why we start 
with that um start with that u shape first because it kind of sets the tone for that knot to go in the center and so then what we're going to do to to kind of tighten that knot look at that knot it's baby beautiful tilt Isn't it to the side knot? look at that knot it's great tilt that, it to the side just a little bit and bring it closer how, to, how does bring it closer to the camera so they can see what kind of knot we're talking about it's yeah, just it's kind of like that overhand boy. knot where you oh, just why is this not focused i understand your thank you i'm always like <laughs> just get it to focus just <laughs> okay so, um hi lala art studio man i don't like not being able to see the comments they're saying um, mean things no, about me no they're not everybody's yeah. saying hi and where they're watching from um but we do have about 40 people watching tonight alex so Pressure. pressure's on uh so what you're gonna do and now is you're gonna form handlebars now keep in mind guys alex is new to jewelry making so i've been be new kind for the and last complimentary. Like two years we've been doing this. <laughs> well you don't make jewelry every day you only make jewelry when i make you make jewelry that's, on the stream that's true so what alex is doing is he is going to kind of bend the ends up oh Completely to forget. create a handlebar. Like yep. And can I can I borrow it from you for just a second to show you why? So let's say we're going to try to... No, no, no. I just want to show them real quick. So let's say we're going to try to pull the wire like this and like this to mm -hmm. tighten it, to pull the wire out that way. What could happen is as we're pulling, if we pull hard and don't have a good grip, it slip. could slip. And that's not good, especially when we're working with fine gauge wire um, because you could get poked. So what don't we like to poked. do is bend the end up and I'll let Alex demonstrate that yeah, because so, so then good. when you pull it, what happens is you're gonna be way, way, way less likely to slip. You can pull harder and it's more ergonomic and okay, efficient. There. So if you have arthritis, if you have a hard time squeezing your hands down or if it hurts, um, that's one tip that I can share with you uh, from experience of someone who kind of overuses uh, my hands and wrists a lot. Um, th these little extra tips and tricks to make life easier and less painful for you so we can keep doing right. what we love forever. I just pull hard? Yep, pull gently. Uh oh, it's starting to. Yeah, go, that's what we're. It's but okay. It's not going to be centered. It's okay. It's okay. That's why we have so much wire, is because. Um, is that enough? It's up to you. You can make the heart whatever size you want. All right. That'll be you enough. can either pull it a little bit more or. Yeah, or what do you guys think? You think that's a good size? Do what like I would that? do if I were you here, put your hand behind it, and it'll do a better job of focusing. Hi, well, Lynn. Hi, there. Charlie. Hi, Helena. What you guys think? I think it looks great. Awesome. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make the decision whether we want this to be a knot ring or a heart ring. And I think for the heart. for the sake of uh, the spirit of Valentine's, we'll do a heart. Yes. Yes. So how do I do that? All right. So what you're going to do. This is the do... part of the video I kind of. <laughs> Where you stop paying attention. What no, you're gonna I, do? It was like a middle part, probably the most important part. <laughs> what, what you're gonna do is grab your chain nose pliers, and you're gonna actually kind of turn this upside down because you see where the arms kind of overlap like this. That's the top two kind of pumps of the mm -hmm. heart. So you're gonna actually want to form a point at the bottom. So you're gonna grab it and just kind of almost squeeze to flatten that out, and then do the same thing on the other side, and hopefully. If you bring it a little closer to the camera, the folks at home can see that Alex is forming like a heart point on the bottom. Ah, and then make sure I, to put your hand behind it and move it down a little bit so that they can see. Yeah, I did it by Back Jove. Just a hair. By Jove, I've done it. Looks awesome. So now you can shape it, flatten it, how, whatever you want to do to make it look like the heart that you want it to look like. I don't know, man. Everybody throw some hearts in chat and thumbs up and complimentary comments for Alex, who has never wire wrapped a ring before. <laughs> Sally says magic. 
La La Art Studio says, looking good. Your mom says, heart emoji, heart emoji, heart emoji, heart emoji. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> Kind of looks like a strawberry. That's mm -hmm. okay. If you can, I don't know if if you're able to, but kind of think? give them a, a progress update and work that yeah. in front of the. There. Yeah, That's looks good. awesome. Thanks, everybody. It's a skinny heart. You've got some some compliments in chat. Nice job. Some Thank heart you. emojis and thumbs up. Great job. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of just straighten out the ends of that wire, and we're gonna get it ready to form it into a ring. Yeah, Any boys. of those little bumps on the, the wire any any Get of you the, one of these bad boys yeah any of the kinks in the wire they're gonna you're gonna feel it if the ring is a tight fit charlie says whoop whoop good for the first time barbara says looks good lynn says looks great so what alex is doing is he's straightening the wire and this also work hardens the wire if you don't have a nylon jaw pliers at home that's okay you can Kind of buy wrap. one from us. <laughs> you can buy one from us, or you can um, use your fingers on a cloth. Um, you can. Pliers not included. <laughs> you can uh, wrap the ends of your pliers in some foam or a cloth, um, <laughs> uh, or you can just straight up use your fingers, but just be careful. All right, there we go. Awesome. Pretty straight, eh? Looks good. All right. So you might be noticing at this point that there's some discoloration at, on Alex's fingers from working with the wire. One I thing that like, I you smell like copper and fire scale like barbecue. Um, one thing that I didn't mention earlier that I probably should have is that this is a kneeled wire and it is who's kneel? <laughs> it's it's wire that we actually anneal here in house. We use our our super fine quality German produced uh, round wire and we anneal it with our torches with our kilns and so it has this beautiful kind of like chocolatey color to it Shock. a little bit of fire scale on it and that is so you folks at home don't have to worry about liver of sulfur so this ring that i have here is a kind of a an easy example for me to show you that once you polish something that has been oxidized uh, or that has um, been annealed and created kind of heat color on it. Uh, when you polish it up over the top, it kind of, I don't know, it adds dimension. It adds some recesses and some highlights, and it just makes it look a little bit more uh, dimensional, I guess. So that is why we, instead of using like pre-made dead soft wire, we actually go in and anneal this wire for you because it gives it a really great kind of organic look. Um, and then you don't have to worry about buying liver of sulfur and patina and all kinds of stuff like that. So that's that. <laughs> so uh, Charlie says, I use scotch tape wrapped pliers. Yeah, that's a great tip. All right, what do I do? All right, okay. so now what you're going to do is you're going to pick a ring size. You want to make it for little one. You want to make it for your mom. You gonna make it for yourself? Not myself. Okay, so hold on, don't do that yet, cause it's not on camera. A, it's not on camera, and B, it's not supposed to stick up like a thorn. Uh, mine is. <laughs> so, um, let's make a seven. How about a seven? Okay. So, sure. Pick the seven, yeah. and you're gonna place the heart on top of the seven. All right. And then make sure you're on camera so the folks can see. So Alex is, and make sure to turn it so they can see. This is not easy. Not <laughs> easy. Sally says, ah, perfect. That way I don't stink up the house with liver of sulfur. Yeah, see, we, we do this for you, you know? <laughs> so what Alex is doing is he's going to move his hands down a little bit, and he's going to shape the two tail ends of the wire around the heart. Bada bing, bada boom. And he's going to use his fingers to just kind of work it so that it is like stuck on that size. If you find that your wire has a little bit of spring to it, you can actually kind of um, move it up higher than the, the size that you need. And then when it springs back out, it should hopefully land on that size. And I'm going to use this thing and cheat. That's fine. 
<laughs> oh, shoot. Yeah, no cussing. I've never cussed a day in my life. <laughs> All right, there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Forget about it. Awesome. So Anne says, I love this because I have a very small ring size. Now I can make my own. That is true. Definitely. So what Alice is going to do now whenever he is done taking a drink is he is going to uh, pull the ring off the mandrel and he's going to cut those tail ends so that they extend about an inch beyond where uh, they would need to stop in order to wrap the um, tail ends hold on don't cut yet please um in order to <laughs> wild i'm a wild guy <laughs> in order to wrap the tail end so i'm going to take a second to pop on screen our sample um preview mm -hmm. and then transition you got it so hopefully what you guys can see at this point is that on either side of the heart there are a couple of little coils and those coils are basically where we terminate but the who's wire. Who's the man in the coil? I, I don't know. Why don't you tell them? <laughs> so, Alex, do you, are you able to kind of see what we're talking about here where you need to make sure that you've got about an inch of wire to coil there and coil there? Yes. So you want to coil it on this you, side? Please don't cut. No, I know, but I'm just saying like right here. That one's going to coil here. I can't here. see where we're pointing. I understand. Wire. I'm showing you. That one coils there. Hold on, can I can I borrow it from you so I can look at it? Thank you. But that just so we can at least see what we Okay. So that one got coiled around one more time. So it's gotta be a good coil. It's a great coil. So essentially what happens is this one here mm -hmm. is going to coil here, mm -hmm. and this one here is going to so coil I, there. Just tell me where to cut, and I'll cut. <laughs> this one just needs to be cut in half right there, right, and then you've got enough on the other side. So you just want to make sure you have about an inch of overlap. That's all that? That's all yeah, you can cut janky, that off. Though. You can cut that off. All right, Look at that. So they, uh -huh. I don't think they can see that. Yeah, you got to put your fingers behind it. So Look at that. Can, can you see it? Smash that hard button if you can see that. Smash it, just punch it right in the face. Stop it. <laughs> he's he's getting like really like uh very confident. <laughs> Not at all. So, uh -huh. so what you're gonna do now at this point is you're gonna put it back on the mandrel and make sure that it is the size that you want it to be. Aha. Uh -huh. And Ish. we're about there. So you Alex is gonna Alex is going to pull it a little tighter. And remember that trick that I said that if you bring it up a little bit on the mm -hmm. mandrel and form it, when it kind of springs back uh, out, it'll yeah, be the size yeah. that you want it. There you go. Bada bing, bada boom. See? Awesome. See, if I can do it, you can do it. Good <laughs> deal. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to have you use your pliers mm -hmm. to grab the wire like this. Actually, okay. from the other side. Hold on. Don't, don't take it from me yet. So we're going to grab the wire here, and then what you're going to do is wrap this loose wire around here three times. On that side? On This is going to come here, mm -hmm. and this one's going to come there. Mm -hmm. And you're going to want to try to get a smooth, even coil going towards the heart. And then the trick is to try to not misshape in the... Oh, it'll be misshaped. <laughs> So oh, yeah. you have to you have to just kind of guesstimate. Like that. Oh no! Now see the thing oh. is you got to grab both both of the wires. Ah, oh, you didn't see so that. So that it keeps the same. Both wires. Mm-hmm. And this bad boy goes down. Or no? Yeah, you. Get, I mean, you have to kind of yep, just coil it around the other. And try your best. If you want to bring the pliers in from the other side. To see if that would make it easier you can do that and then if you want if you think it would be easier to use your pliers your other pliers to help you pull the wire around and make it tight and even oh, you're welcome to do that dropping too it. i'm dropping it like it's hot <laughs> so everybody's different sometimes these projects will be easier for you to do with mostly your fingers to wire wrap 
And sometimes it'll be easier for you to um, use the pliers. It's totally just whatever feels comfortable for you. Uh, and projects like this take a little bit of practice. So I, I think Alex is doing, this. no, I was going to say, I think Alex is doing a really great job for his first try. If yours doesn't That's look the like this. nice way to say No, no, not at all. If yours doesn't look like this, when you're then finished, you're probably doing a lot better than me. No, if yours, I mean, oh my gosh. It, it takes practice. And um, wire wrapping is not for the faint of heart. You're going to waste a little bit of wire. And I am faint of heart. That's why we include enough wire to make, I think, six rings in the kit. Let me look at our description. I will only be making one tonight. <laughs> yeah, up to six rings. So we include extra wire in. Uh, I can't do it way it's far okay. away. It's okay. If you need to take a minute to bring go. it closer to your face so you can see but, it, you're welcome to look do at that. Look that, huh? Terrible looking. No, it's beautiful. The people say. What do the people say? I think it looks awesome. So what I would do if I were you is work on the other side now. Um, and if you want, you can put it back on your ring mandrel to kind of like straighten it out a little bit or not. It's totally up to you. Whatever feels more comfortable. Oh, now it shrunk. Big time. Well, that's okay. Yeah. <laughs> you can kind of force it down if you want. We're not, we're not too far beyond at this point no it didn't shrink it just was out of out of round shape it got oval so it didn't want to slide down okay. <laughs> but you're good you, you kept it the right size okay so now what you're going to do is the same thing on the other side and um just try to make it as uniform as you can and remember to kind of anchor those wires in place with your pliers and go for it and then after your coiling is done what you're going to do is you're going to come back in with your other pliers and we're going to try to kind of mush the wire so that they're tight mm. and who did you it's fine did you get yourself yes you bleeding <laughs> we got a bleeder no it's not bleeding okay um so Look at that piece of garbage <laughs> it's not a piece of garbage so what we're going to do now is we're going to um, we're going to use our pliers to kind of tighten any of those coils. You can um, kind of like pinch them together. You can use your pliers to tuck any tail ends down. And then we're going to use our flush cutter with the flat side of the blade facing your work in order to trim the tail ends so that they are um, out of the way and gone. And then Alex, what I would recommend you do Brutal is put it here. back on the mandrel and kind of just like press it down so that both of those loops that make up the back of the wire uh, or back the ring band uh, are even. So you can kind of force it and then you want to make sure oh, that they're twisted. not. Well, that's OK. You want to make sure that they're not overlapped. And if they are, oh. you can kind of. Well, that's OK. You can kind of. Uh, like force it into place. But I would take it off the mandrel and do that with your fingers while it's off the mandrel. Ah. And if you can kind of show them on screen what we're talking about. You're down too far. If you want to look at the viewfinder, you'll be able to see it a little better. See, it was flippy flop, crisscross <laughs> applesauce. <laughs> Good job. So uh, Sally says, it is great, Alex. Welcome to the world of wire. You haven't worked with wire until you have drawn blood. Oh, isn't that true? I almost did. <laughs> Alex, that looks great. So if it's easier to keep it on the mandrel to make those adjustments with your uh -huh. pliers, you can. So can I show you something real quick? I'm not going to actually do it because your Let's ring looks it. great. But what I like to do is while it's on the mandrel like this, sometimes I'll use the pliers Let's to kind of like squeeze. pinch and squeeze any of the coils together right. yeah, to ahead. reshape in the heart. Because sometimes the heart gets a little off kilter whenever we're doing this kind of project. And this then side looks good. It does. This side looks like it just got a little wonky. overlapped. You can kind of straighten that out by smushing it with your pliers. If you wouldn't mind before you do it, show the folks at home. Look how wonky what, it looks. Oh my, that's very blurry. See, that side is like, whoa. It's not really focusing over here. Are you that able to put great. your finger behind it? So Alex has a, a part of his coil that's like up a little farther than it should be. So what he's going to do is use his pliers to kind of like gently down 
or gently push it down so that it's about the same um, size as the other ones. So if you've got one coil that's like way higher than the other, you can kind of even them all out just by pushing the bigger one down and kind of rounding your pliers. I don't know if you guys see me in the little picture in picture, but you can kind of work your pliers like this to straighten it and even it out a little bit. See how yeah, cool that, that is? That side looks much better. Yeah, show him. Looks... Look, Look, he did it. I get way too close. Yeah. Look, there's three nice little spirals. That's pretty cool. Good job. All right, now I got to work on this side because it doesn't look right. So, and that's just all it is, guys. It's, it's just working the wire to put it where you want it to go. With projects like this, you just kind of have to keep working at it in order to get it uniform. But with copper, because it's such a beautiful organic color, um, and because these are such simplistic designs, it's okay if it looks a little off kilter or whimsical, because we're all a little off kilter and whimsical. <laughs> um, so after you have all your coils set, what I like to do is I like to put it back on the mandrel one more time from both directions um, and just press it down to even it out. And then my last step after I've trimmed the tail ends and everything is I'll adjust that little heart that I've made in order to make it um, see that all, kind of. a little bit more heart shaped. So sometimes what I'll do is I'll pull the um, the arms of the ring. Like, you know how if you look at the picture and picture part real quick so you can see what I'm doing with my arms, Dude, I'm the part that goes it. like this, if you kind of tilt this part down a little bit, it'll make the loops at the top of the heart what? a little bit more heart shaped. It, look, it's starting to look like a, like a really like a strawberry, like a mushy strawberry. It does look a little bit like a strawberry. Here, I'm going to tighten this yeah, tail it. end just because I don't want to bleed on camera tonight. So There will be blood. So what I'm talking about is this part right up here. I hope you guys can see this because I'm not seeing the viewfinder. What I'm going to do is kind of just tilt this down a little bit. Pardon my broken fingernail. So you see how we're just kind of like working those little lumps back into the heart. So you see how they're coming back and it looks like a pretzel. A pretzel. A pretzel. So then we then we just kind of keep shaping the heart. You can use the tip of the pliers to do that, whatever you want to do. And then, guys, if you are just catching the tail end of this, I see a lot of folks coming in at the tail end of this. If you're just catching oh. the tail end of this, we have a full oh, video shit. tutorial oh, on this that is uh, professionally filmed. And it's only about five minutes long, too. So. Yeah, it's a very quick if you put it in times two, you'll get the gist in about two and a half minutes. <laughs> and like then I you did. can do it just like Alex yeah, did. Yeah, and have it be looking horrible. <laughs> or you can watch it at normal speed and probably, you know, um, actually do it proper. <laughs> but like I said, it's part of our four-part, uh, four-project Valentine's Day series from a couple of a couple years ago um, with our XO bracelet and the heart uh, earrings, the heart hoop earrings. But Alex, that looks great, dude. Like, that's awesome. So what you can do now at this point that's is you big. can make sure that you are, uh, your tail ends are not sharp. Mm, not that sharp. So yeah. what you can do is either tuck them down with the... I don't even want to touch it, though, because it's... Okay, well, then just try to trim it. It's too tight. It's too... I think it's like... I would always recommend trying to get your tail ends pointed away from your finger if you can, um, but sometimes well, you're not able much. to really hide it. So in that case, just do your best to tuck it down. And then if it's really sharp, you can go in with a file. Um, I've heard a lot of people say they do a drop of clear fingernail polish on the back of it. Right. I yeah, don't do that because I like to see the, the metal age and then there's just like this big spot that's discolored. But you do you. Mm. That looks awesome. So what you can do now <laughs> is use a polish pad to kind of like buff. Don't if you want to, you can do the whole thing. But I like to just kind of like highlight any of the areas that are coiled. You can also use a, a polish pad to buff out any scratches that you've put in the wire. But I think you did an excellent job. I'm going to go to our 
store right now and we're in our store our virtual store uh, i'm in a i'm i'm gonna i'm going to link gonna, our uh, gonna... polish pads um in chat and i know sometimes that. facebook doesn't like to share the links with everybody look at that but you did a fabulous job alex awesome 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 um if you found this project that alex just demonstrated to be very entertaining and you're looking for a project that is a little bit more advanced look at this swirly I... boy oh let's switch back <laughs> okay good job alex thank you and the um, goes wild. <laughs> this is one of our projects that uh well let me put it on my thumb so you can actually see it this is one of our projects that is a little bit more intensive but still a very simple project this is our knotted wire ring project and then we have a variety of other um wire projects as well on our youtube channel um and alex if you could switch to face cam for a sec and um oh hold on one sec this is this is actually our wire knot ring uh kit comes with polish pads a bunch of wire um and it's pre-annealed for you also um i am going to give you guys a quick sneak peek at our monthly fun pack that we're building don't tell anybody that i'm giving you a sneak peek hold on one second Actually, you know what? Let's go to... No, I'll give them a quick sneak peek. Look at that. That's the sneak peek. Clip it and tell all your friends. <laughs> um, can you, can we go back to face cam real quick? Yes. Thank you. Um, so if you didn't know, we have uh, a, like a monthly pack or a monthly subscription service that we started this year. Alex, can you link that in chat? Thank you. Um, so what's it called? Monthly fun pack. Um, so each month there's a different theme. Last month was uh, like winter blues, winter frost. Um, and then this month is uh, amethyst vibes. So um, we are very, very excited to be building these fun little uh, inspiration kind of starter idea packs for you guys. It's not an actual kit. Um, but the idea that we had was just to kind of pick our favorite things here at the bead place that fit that certain theme or certain vibe. And then um, kind of just, it, it, it's like a starting point, <laughs> if that makes sense. Um, so, <clears throat> pardon me. So um, our hope is that you will share um, pictures of what you're creating with our monthly fun packs to our Facebook group. If you're not a member of our Facebook group, it's called the Bead Place Facebook group. Um, and then Becky, one of our staff members, uh, is actually uh, going to be posting design ideas of um, our monthly fun packs uh, each month as we go along. So you can check out Becky's design idea from last month. Uh, it's in the group. Um, and yeah. Yes. Make sure to like, <laughs> comment, like, part. Like our page. Heart this video. Heart this video. Heart this video. Um, while we have uh, a couple more minutes, would you guys be interested in seeing some of the other heart projects that we have? Um, I will set this box over there and then I can grab a couple of them. Where are you going? Oh, we're both leaving. Yep. <laughs> yeah, I'm just setting that over there for a second. Um, but let me know in chat if you guys would like to see some of the other heart projects that we have. I'm going to take a drink so I can talk. Um, yes, Sally says yes. All right. So I'm going to switch back to hand cam for just a sec so you guys can get a closer look at what we are looking at. I go to detail cam, Alex, and then transition. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. All right. So this is our funky heart kit. 
Um, so this is another wire project, even though it doesn't necessarily look like a wire project. It is. You actually wire around some of our serape cord uh, with um, fine gauge wire and beads. Uh, the kit comes with a variety of Czech and Japanese. I think Czech and Japanese, maybe a, look, maybe a few Austrian uh, crystals in there as well. Um, so you just really kind of decorate this fun heart. I believe it comes in three different colorways. This is the black and white uh, funky heart kit. Um, and then it also comes in red and pink. Um, and then you uh, essentially, once you have it wire wrapped and formed into the heart shape, then you glue on your bottom piece and then add a cute little dangle. Um, we use this kind of jumbo hammered link as the bail. And then I like to put some like funky accent chain and wear it as a long necklace. We have had people use it as a keychain, and that's really cute. Um, I'm really rough on my keys, so I would tear this thing up if I used it as a keychain, but maybe like a purse charm, but I don't know. I just love it as a pendant. I think it's super cute. And if you like symmetrical hearts, you can do a symmetrical heart. I like asymmetrical hearts. Um, so I am going to run and grab the, uh, heart earrings that I mentioned earlier, and I will be right back. Do, 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 do. It, I was going to put the preview screen up, but it might be faster just to, yeah. I did it. Ha <laughs> ha. I'll be right back. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm right. I'm almost there. Don't leave us. Okay, I'm back. I got to go back to detail cam transition. Look, I did it. Yay. Did everybody leave? Is everybody still there? Wow, everybody's still there. Um, Sally, the, uh, the deal was if you place a $10 or more order then you get uh, a free strand um, in your package so if you place a ten dollar or more order from now until the end of the weekend and put in the order notes that you watched the live stream um, then you receive one of these cute little heart not heart cute little um, hashi eco vinyl uh, polymer clay strands Okay, so um, the other projects that I wanted to show you are. I caught the copy in there. Oh, good job. Pokemon there, Go. There was a, Super into it. <laughs> a really cool Pokemon that Alex needed to catch. And it was catch. a time thing. You can only catch it for an hour. So. <laughs> so this is another project that is in the same video as the tutorial uh, of the project that Alex showed you guys tonight. This is a uh, 14 karat gold filled. Put that one in there. Huh? I'm gonna, uh... That's okay. You, I can link it after. Um, anyway, this is a heart-shaped hoop earring. Um, it's 14 karat gold filled hoop wire and Japanese seed beads. I love these seed beads because they're color line seed beads. So they're, it's a clear seed bead and then it has a pink lining. Um, and then in the tutorial, it shows you how to make the hoop part of it so that it can close once it's in your ear. Um, you can, of course, make them bigger or smaller if you want, but um, this is a very popular kit. And then it is uh, 14 karat gold filled wire. So they are nice. Nice. Very nice. <laughs> I 
Like okay. It. And nice. then, Still going. yeah. The next project that I wanted to show you that is in the uh, four project video um, is this X's and O's bracelet. So this comes in turquoise and red. This is a turquoise one, clearly. Um, but it shows you the pattern of how to make the X and the O. The X and the O. So if you're not super into Valentine's Day or hearts and things like that, um, this is kind of a fun, subtle way to include X's and O's. Um, and then you have something that is in your style for the rest of the year as well. So... We have that kit available also. And then if you really love rings, but copper wire isn't your style, this is our easy stretchy ring kit, our crystal easy stretchy ring kit. Um, this is a really fun intro to bead weaving and it's stretchy and it uses Austrian crystals. And then um, if you enjoy watching Alex and I act a fool. Um, one of our very first projects that we did together for our YouTube channel um, at the bead place is the fire and water bracelet uh, set. This one has some fuzz on it. <laughs> one sec, guys. So um, this bracelet is kind of a, a nod to the, the contrasting yet complementary um, ideas of yin and yang. So it is white howlite and then black lava. And in the video uh, and on the kit, uh, we go into detail on how these stones are um, complementary and contrasting. Right? Yeah, you have it on. You had it on yesterday. You wore it too. Uh, all is a different one because I had the blue. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Um, but, but this yes. is one of our most popular kits this time of year because it makes like a nice um, friendship bracelet or couples bracelet, partners bracelet, um, and one, if you can make one in like a traditionally feminine style and then one in a traditionally masculine style, which is what we're showing here. Um, but my favorite way to wear them uh, or make them is so that they're truly matching. And that is where uh, each of the bracelets has um, both sets of spacers rather than these having the daisy spacers and this one having the washer spacers. So I hope that makes sense. I think we talk about that in the video too. Um, Sarah says, is that the Opalon in the stretchy ring kit? Yes, it is Opalon in the stretchy ring kit. Um, I really like Opalon for projects like bead weaving because it seems to be a little bit easier to use. Um, generally for regular stretch bracelets using crystal i don't really recommend opalon unless you're going through it several times um, because opalon can kind of be shredded by crystals um, but for projects like this where you're kind of weaving in and out multiple times uh, opalon is what i would recommend and then we did a live video probably months ago at this point where we showed a stretchy bracelet using size six seed beads I think it was in our size 6 seed bead feature, right? Yeah, he doesn't know. Um, anyway, we showed a herringbone bangle using um, black opalon. So, um, yeah, that's that. We have a couple other heart projects and kits and things that um, I didn't mention tonight. This was just kind of uh, the few that I had handy. Um, but this was the party heart project that we showed last week. Um, so you can either watch last week's video or you can go to the very old, probably decade old YouTube tutorial um, that shows you how to do it. And yeah, we hope that you guys have a wonderful Valentine's Day if you're celebrating it or Valentine's Day if you're celebrating that. Or uh, we just hope that you have a happy tu Tuesday. A happy life. Yeah, we just hope you have a happy life. <laughs> um, I think that's it. Man, we flew through it tonight. Sweet. I feel like. <laughs> cool. I feel, I feel I like. I work fast. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, I feel like we should have you do all the demonstrations from here on out because 
you're a lot more like time efficient. <laughs> I gotta go wash my hands now, but thanks for watching. Again, if you're watching on YouTube, like the video. If you're watching on Facebook, heart it. And of course, share it with everybody. Join us same time, same place, 7 p.m. Central. We love you. Have a great night. Be kind to one another. Adios. Yeah, we send the hearts. <laughs> and we, too sweet. Too sweet. Adios.